continues. All right, everyone, get ready to mark your property with purple mm -hmm. paint. Yeah, soon state law will change uh, to give new meeting to purple marks in the state. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams explains. I have the landowner's permission to do this. Starting July 1st, if you see this, it will mean no trespassing. Steve Wethington says sometimes people come onto his property without his permission. We do get people trespassing on the lake, and this is a private properties. Now he has a state approved solution to help keep them away purple paint. As long as people hear about it, it'll be fine. Uh, I had no problem spraying my tree. Republican State Rep David Walkins wrote the law primarily for people in rural areas to be able to clearly mark their large property boundaries on fence posts or trees. I asked, could the mark be a circle, star, or an X? No, the, the mark has to be a vertical line straight up and down and at least eight inches long. Uh, it can be longer than that. Uh, on fence post, it has to actually go to the top of the post. So basically, you start at the top of the post and come down. Instead of going down and buying those signs and having to replace them every year, or the weather ripping them off of trees, it'll allow them to get a, a can of purple spray paint and uh, mark those trees. What if you live in a subdivision? Could you mark a tree in your yard with purple paint? Yes, I believe you could. Uh, there were no limitations on it as to where you could use it. What type of building you're in. So I believe you probably could use it uh, inside city limits. You could, but I don't think it's very often we see no trespassing signs in subdivisions. You know, so I, I doubt we'll see very much purple paint. State Rep Walkins tells me there really isn't an educational period about this purple paint law, but he says the news and social media will get the word out. I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8.